going on? It's your boy Trinidad James. Hot new hip hop. Let's do it. Nellis got me in the walk. I'm gonna have like that. That's dope. <laughs> Good day. Uh, actually, I didn't buy this at the store. I put it out of my pocket because it's my favorite snacks. I had these my secret weapon snacks. So I had to keep it in a secret place. Planters salted peanuts. Being from the islands, Trinidad and Tobago to be exact. Peanuts is something you just, it's a natural snack. I've always just have a love of peanuts. Me, my mother, my father, everybody in Trinidad that pretty much. In the islands, it's a go-to snack. So it's just something that I was, grew up eating all the time. Like anybody else per se, but um, I'm happy I'm not allergic to peanuts because I love salted peanuts. I'm actually gonna go back in the secret stash. I don't have to eat these right now. These are for like rough times. Continuing, Haichu. One of the best candies ever made in mankind, like in the new mankind. And the new mankind, this candy right here, really, really is a game changer. This is like a LeBron James right here. I would have, because you already had the Michael Jordan of candies. Michael Jordan candies have already passed, so like your Sour Patches and all that, that's like, you know, that's the Michael Jordan side of stuff. Like, this is a candy that came from a whole other place. And it's fire. This is not my favorite flavor, but I actually like to try new flavors. So this is uh, acai. My favorite flavor in these would probably be, uh, ooh, the yellow banana pack. Oh, yellow banana, because I like bananas, which will be my next snack I talk about. Segway. Segway. I always like to have a fruit, something. You know what I'm saying? So whether it's an apple, orange, um, but banana has always been something. I like bananas since I was a kid. Pound cake, marble cake to be exact. Um, these are things that I grew up on as a kid and just always kept it. Like my mother, she's a big fan of marble cakes. And so uh, I think she just passed it on. It's in, our, it's in my blood. I got marble in my blood. This type of marble, no. Marble cake. Martinelli's. Martinelli's is one of the top of the top best apple juices that you could taste. If you could tell me a better apple juice, please put it in the comments below on Hot New Hip Hop, on my IG page, even on Facebook. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? A better apple juice than Martinelli's. Fiji water. Um, I think this is just a bougie thing, but water is good. They didn't have Voss at the store. I wasn't really looking for it, but Fiji is like my go-to. Voss is like my bougie bougie, and Fiji is like my normal bougie. Or whatever, but water is just good for you. You should drink water. Last but not least, Sun Chips. Harvest Cheddar is the flavor. I actually like the blue pack of this particular chip more, but not many people like it. It's very plain. I like plain, plain snacks. I don't really like too much going on. To me, the cheddar is not as healthy as the actual, the blue pack. The blue pack is, not all these extra additives to it. Like all this cheddar, too much cheese is not good for you. Cheese is good, but too much cheese is not good for you. Nobody just gets, nobody just gets one chip. You eat the big bag, you eat another bag, you know what I'm saying? For me, I know that I love chips because growing up as a kid, I love chips. So with that being said, try to eat healthy chips, but shout out to Sun Chips, big fan. I need to do my own collab with them soon. I think that that deli was missing um, the blue, as a, a particular brand, I can't remember the brand, but it, they sell cashews, they come in the blue pack. These blue pack of cashews, they usually, um, they do green pistachio, purple is like a, a, a almond, but the blue is the whole cashew, I can't remember the name of the brand. They didn't have many cashews in there. It was a very, um, like my boy said, a very gentrified deli. Which is fine, you know, it's the city. So I don't expect Brooklyn activity if I'm not in Brooklyn. Uh, those candy hamburgers, um, it was like a hamburger made of candy where the, each piece, the bread was a piece of candy, the lettuce was a, a gummy, the, you should, they still sell it if you go to, like a real bodega would have the hamburger candies. So I grew up on those, those were freaking classic. It was a candy in Atlanta, Georgia called Chews. Just choose, they came in so many different flavors and colors, like it'll be a bunch of blue ones, red, red was the cherry, black was like cherry bomb. Twix, before I was allergic to chocolate, I'm allergic to chocolate now, so I don't eat chocolate that much. But Twix was a, a thing, you know, that's, a, that's like I said, that's the Michael Jordan of, of snacks. No, but my favorite rap snack is, it used to be Fabulous, and then it changed to 
Mm. Somebody who has like a honey cheddar. I can't think of who it is right now though. Maybe Freddy Wap. It was Freddy Wap. I think it's Freddy Wap. Um, my own rap snack probably would be like a, um, oh, I don't want to give it away, but it'll be good. It'll be good. It'd definitely be something gold though. If I'm in Atlanta, I'll do a full day of food. So breakfast could be at places like a soul food place. I like to go like some of those like Busy Bees. I'll do American Deli for lunch. And then for dinner, I would do um, maybe a steakhouse. I love Ruth Chris in Atlanta, it's just a, a thing. American Deli, we got burgers, fried rice, or whatever, Philly cheesesteak, you know what I'm saying? So I'll get a 10-piece mile, all flats, crispy light sauce uh, with fries, blue cheese, no ranch, um, extra celery and carrots, and um, a peach lemonade drink mix. Well, it, it varies where I'm at. So if I'm in New York City, it'd be a slice of pizza. Um, if I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, it would be wings or Jamaican food. If I'm in Miami, oh, in Miami, it would be actually Asian food. Or whatever, yeah, mashi mashi, places like that. Uh, Asian people, they stay open late. Asian restaurants stay open late. They don't have any shame in the game. They want to get the money. If it come down to it, Wendy's. I right, eat Wendy's. So Wendy's or Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A, bro. Oh, you're talking, no, if it came down to it, I'm still going Wendy's. If it's like I had to choose like only, only fast food restaurant I could eat, Wendy's. I grew up on Wendy's. I didn't grow up on Chick-fil-A. I didn't grow up eating it, but I'm from Atlanta. Chick-fil-A, the first Chick-fil-A was in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely holds a special place in my heart, but I'm not going to eat a fucking chicken sandwich every day. The most probably wouldn't be no more than $4,000. Anywhere from thirty-five dollars to $4,200. It's a guy who owns a restaurant called, or he owns a breakfast spot called The Destroyer in LA. But across the street, he owns another spot that I can't remember the name, but it's like 400 a person, you know, but it's a whole experience. Like when you pull up, like they know it's you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they, so they greet you as soon as you pull up. And then, um, you know, it's 16 courses. Um, he created everything inside of the restaurant. So the dishes that you eat with, he made those too. The bowl that he, he made certain bowls and dishes for each dish, certain things. And he made the, the drinks for it too. So it's a real detailed thing. Even the hand soap in the bathroom, he made that too. Yeah, no, it is. It definitely, I mean, it's 400 a fucking person, so. It needs to be some type of goddamn experience. It's not a snack review, goddamn it, I'll tell you that much.